What's up guys, today we have another brand new product from Black Boar ATV Implements. Uh, we have the Discaro here, we just got done setting it up. We're gonna head back into the woods here about a quarter mile back. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna disc this little kill pot up and plant some winter peas. what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new please be sure to smash that thumbs up button leave a comment down below let me know if you have any questions about the blackboard discaro if you are new subscribe let's get right into today's video there we have it guys got it all hooked up we just did uh just a few passes right here um i'm very impressed with it so far i will be honest uh i have to go a little not as deep as i wanted to the first time around because my four-wheeler is only a 250 but this works very well it's a lot bigger than what i'm used to and uh you know with with implements that i use for the atv but it works very well and i'm gonna show you guys how it works hopefully you guys enjoyed the the cool uh drone footage but um it's a blackboard product let's get busy All right, guys, we've been busy here. As you can see, we dissed all this up. It turned out pretty good, and it's funny, I have no idea why, but I'm gonna leave this little tiny island right in the center here. It's probably 10 or 15 feet wide by 20 feet long, just a little circle of an island of sorghum. It'll grow up a little bit. It's not gonna grow anywhere near where it's gonna block my ground blind to where I'll be able to get a shot. 30 yards at the other end so I'm just gonna leave that there it's kind of interesting and then the rest of this we're gonna seed with some brassicas and some uh, winter peas and uh, a little bit of oats we're gonna go broadcast that it's extremely hot out here and then uh, this afternoon they're calling for some rain as well as tomorrow so it should be a good time to plant so first things first uh, we're gonna go ahead and broadcast the winter peas we just got done fertilizing and then um, I'm going to broadcast the winter peas first because that's a big seed. And then we'll come back over and we'll drag it in. And then once that's done, then we'll just top seed with some uh, brassicas and uh, a little bit of turnips and uh, things like that. We'll just top seed it like that because those little tiny seeds, if you cover them up too much with dirt, they're not going to germinate. So we'll, we'll drag it over with the winter peas, broadcast the brassicas over top, and then let the rain mother nature do what it does push that seed down in the dirt and we should get uh, some good germination here we go guys tip always start out with a with a um, very little opening on your cedar go around then you know where you're at then you can always go around more but if you open up too wide you're gonna run out of seed before you actually seeded your entire food plot so this should be enough for about a quarter of an acre which this is only an eighth of an acre so we got a little bit more seed than we need which is good so remember, start small, and as you go around, you can continue to go around, or then once you go around once, you can readjust, and you can fine tune it from there. But always start small.
we just got done dragging this Whew, bugs are horrible now we'll just go ahead and uh, broadcast right on top let the rain do its job again we're gonna start out small small opening go around see where we're at then we can adjust from there Here we have it guys, keel plot planted. Now I will tell you, this is actually a replant. We came through four weeks ago and we dissed this up and it was full of sunflowers. But I either had bad seed or the blend that I used, I think I planted too early and it was too hot. So we dissed it up again and I think I got it right this time. So. I'm not perfect everybody messes up and this is why we have this channel because we show you real life situations not every food plot goes as planned sometimes there's accidents sometimes there's failures and then other times you get great success but on this first planting I failed why many different reasons you know I didn't have good soil to seed contact I had a bad seed bad seed uh, variety you know there's so many different things that could have happened but at the end of this, I'm gonna show you the other two plots we planted, which turned out fantastic right at the end of this video. But for now, we're replanted, rain's coming tonight, and then uh, we'll be back here throughout the week. Next weekend, we'll be spraying with antler grow, the new plots, or the plots we planted a few weeks ago. And then uh, we'll be back the week after that, and then the week after that. So we got a few more weeks of work to do here before hunting season. All right, guys, here is one food plot right here. As you guys remember through the video, this was actually full of buckwheat. We literally just mowed it over, tilled it in with the groundhog, and overseeded, and then caught the pack to it. Now, um, as you can see, it turned out very well. Now, there are weeds in there, perfectly fine. Deer eat weeds. But you can see all through there, it turned out excellent. Now, I'm going to show you two differences real quick. This was mowed over, plowed over, and we disked it in with the Groundhog Max. It was not 100% seed to soil contact. Take a good look at it. I'm just gonna show you the difference here. Okay, let's go over to the other one. Here is the gem. Check that out. Look at that. This blows me away, guys. Check that out, one acre. Nebraska turnips rape awesome this plot was nothing in it it was 100% soil seed contact you see the difference so we always say whenever you do like a, a no plow type setup you'll get about 70% seed germination is which what we have on the other plot this is probably close to 100% soil to seed contact and we had great germination This behind me here is a sorghum wall. It's probably about 50 yards long, 10 yards wide, but in some areas it's 12 to 15 feet tall. We came through four weeks ago and sprayed the sorghum with a mixture of the antler grow and MPK uh, mixture. But it is just awesome, 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 awesome. Now this divides the two plots. Why we so black air? Blur it out. Come on, baby. Focus. There we go. Remember the apples? The apple trees we sprayed? Well, we got apples. I'll tell you what. I just picked one, and they're delicious. As you can see, all around this bottom of this tree, the deer have it mowed down. There's just tons and tons of prints. Every, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Whew. 
excuse me but you can see it's just tore up i'm just amazed by this whole this whole process here a lot of the apples actually fell already a lot of them fell so we might go through i'm gonna pick some here in a little while i'm gonna take some home with me and uh give some to my parents she's gonna my mom's gonna make a uh apple pie i might even make one you might see me baking but i'm super impressed guys i'm gonna wrap this video up if you guys enjoyed this video please smash the thumbs up button leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding this video i always reply to everybody's comments if you guys are new smash that thumbs up button and uh we're like 45 subscribers away from six gram which means we'll give away another trail camera to a lucky winner until next time guys I will see you.